fans are jammed into the Civic Center to watch their hometown hero, Bubba Buscemi, challenge for the World Lightweight Championship. Bubba Buscemi is the champion of Texas. He's won 14 of his last 15 fights. He's ranked number six in the world by the WBC. Those victories included a knockout victory over then highly ranked Herman Montez. Back in July of 1981 in the sixth round, the quick-handed Bubba Buscemi stopped Montez and Montez's corner threw in the towel. Today he challenges one of the great champions of all time, Alexis Arguello from Nicaragua, now living in Coral Gables, Florida. One of only six fighters to hold titles in three different weight divisions, making his third defense of his lightweight crown. You saw him here on CBS stop Boom Boom Mancini, and then in his last outing in November, also here on CBS in the seventh round, a big right hand coming up puts away yet another Texan from Corpus Christi, Roberto Elizondo. And so today, the champion, Arguello, defends against Bubba Buscemi and what they're calling here in Beaumont, Bubba Mania. This town and this community called the Golden Triangle has gone crazy for Bubba. It's coming up. The South Wall with very, very fast hands. He has a great hometown crowd behind him. But for him to win, he would have to fight an absolutely perfect fight because he's in with a great champion who can take it all away from you with one punch. All right, well, here comes Bubba. in Beaumont, Texas since Babe Didrickson Zaharias. This is her hometown. Bubba Buscemi, the champion of Texas, has dedicated this challenge for the world title to the great Babe. The man he has to beat for that world championship, one of the most distinguished and most popular of all boxing champions today, from Coral Gables, Florida, now coming into the ring is Alexis Arguello, making his third title defense at the 135-pound weight. And as usual, he's fighting on foreign soil. It's not new to him. The crowd is not likely to bother him. It'll be a question of how much it lifts up the challenger. Of course, Arguello is the favorite here against the number six-ranked Bubba Buscemi. And certainly there would be no argument that Arguello should be favored against anybody in the lightweight division defending his title. How much of an effect the crowd will have here today, we'll certainly find out very shortly. Because we'll be back with round one of the WBC lightweight championship. Well, the flags are in the ring. The flag of Nicaragua, the home country of Alexis Arguello. And I'm surprised that there isn't a Lone Star flag in there for the state of Texas. So let's now go up to the ring announcer, Bob the Sawyer. The WBC lightweight championship of the world. 15 rounds. Introducing in the blue corner. Former Olympian and Texas lightweight champion with a professional record of 27 and 3, 22 by knockout. Hometown, Beaumont, Texas, James Bubba. Coming this afternoon in green trucks, trimmed in white, 
fighting out of the red corner with a record of 70 and 4. Six defense by knockout. Originally from Nicaragua, now making his home in the state of Florida at 135 pounds. Here is Alexis Arguello. The champion Alexis Arguello receiving uh, some appreciative applause here in recognition of his great ability. There is our tale of the tape. They are the same age. Indeed, Bubba Buscemi will be 30 years old tomorrow on Valentine's Day. Alexis Arguello weighing in exactly 135 a half pound under Bubba Buscemi. The height and reach advantage, as usual, is very tall for a lightweight Alexis Arguello. Yo, Clancy, you feel the crowd here. Is it going to help Bubba Buscemi or make him nervous? Well, I'm excited, Tim, and I guess he's excited. It, it probably could hurt him a little bit if he tries to fight too hard early. He could get nailed early. The referee is Octavio Mayron from Mexico. He will not figure in the scoring. That will be done by three judges at ringside. Mike Jacobs from Great Britain. Jose Mallorca from San Francisco, formerly from Nicaragua, and Alan Spider Bynum from Dallas, Texas. The challenger in blue with white trim, the champion in dark green velvet. We know the challenger, Buscemi, has very quick hands. He's a southpaw. Arguello, while bothered somewhat by southpaws, has been very successful against them. Indeed, in his last 11 fights, he has faced five of them and knocked out four of those five. But Joe, we have been watching these two fighters in the gym this week. And as this first round develops, perhaps you can describe the uh, pros and cons of Buscemi's southpaw style. Well, Buscemi is a southpaw, Tim, but he doesn't take advantage of the fact that he's a southpaw because he, he does not circle as much to his right as he should. What, he, what we've been watching him do in training is you throw a combination and move right into right hands, and he had better not do that with Aguayo or it could be fatal. Aguayo, on the other hand, does not normally attack the left-hander as well as he does the right-hander, but uh, if Buscemi does move to his left, he'll be helping the champion. The combination scored by Buscemi and naturally getting a rise from the crowd. Now you notice Buscemi is moving to his left, which is unusual for a southpaw. He's moving right into Arguello's right hand. He does not look comfortable moving the other way when we watch him work out, which is unusual, but it just appears to be easier for him to go to his left. Tim, he likes to throw punches, and he has very, very fast hands, but he's a singles hitter, and Arguello is a home run hitter, and that could prove to be the big difference in the fight as the fight progresses. Buscemi backing up Arguello with a combination. 22 knockouts and 27 victories, but he has not been in there against real strong opposition, with the exception of Herman Montes and the Mexican Beto Ramos. Under a minute to go, round one. Left hand lands his straight left hand, perhaps his best punch. Arguello making his 18th title defense. Tim, that right hand was set up by a beautiful left hook to the body. That is the combination to use against the southpaw. Beautiful combination. 25 seconds remaining in round one. Scheduled 15 round WBC lightweight championship bout. The champion Alexis Arguello on the left of your screen on the foreground in green. Bubba Buscemi from Beaumont, Texas at the top of your screen, the challenger. When asked about the crowd, he said, I expect I'll get positive vibrations from him. And he lands the left jab, backing up Arguello. But he said in the Herman Montez fight, they were all chanting Bubba, Bubba, Bubba. And they got a little over anxious early in the fight. I don't want to do that against Arguello. Well, when I mentioned it could be a negative factor. If he, if he gets carried away and tries to trade punches with Arguello, that could be a big mistake. He has to stick to his battle plan for 15 rounds and don't make any mistakes, which is tough to do over the long haul. And his 
fights his title fights. He's gone 12 rounds twice. He says he is ready to go 15 if necessary. And he tries to win one round at a time. He's very firm about that. He says, my object is to win each round. I don't worry about the knockout. I just want to win each round. That right hand, just the left hand, pardon me, just fell short. Aguayo stinging Buscemi with a jab. Very patient work of the champion, as always, cutting off the ring. Bubba Buscemi had a great amateur background, Tim, but when he went to the old vet, the new Benbow, Benbow went to, right back to work on his fundamentals. He said he wasn't keeping his hands high enough. He taught him to keep his hands up and to throw every punch correct. That is according to what you, Benbow, told us. Benbo took over in November of last year. Good left hand landed from Buscemi. He has had Buscemi for the last 11 fights. He's won them all. Another left hand in the ear of the champion Arguello from Buscemi. Under a minute to go. Round two and a right hand from the champion Arguello. Buscemi retired from professional boxing for nearly four years. Four Golden Glove Championships, National Championship from 1969 to 72. He was on the 72 Olympic team. Won a bronze medal. Arguello is starting to get his distance a little bit now, Tim. He's starting to really put pressure on Buscemi. It's early in the fight. Less than 30 seconds to go in round two. Tim Ryan and Gil Clancy live from Beaumont, Texas. 6,618 fans and probably a few more jammed in here to the Civic Center to watch the local hero, Bubba Buscemi, challenge for the world crown. The champion, Arguello, on the left of your screen in green. Buscemi's punches to have any effect at all, Tim. He's going to have to maneuver Aguayo way out of position and then try to step in with a punch. Right now, his punches are almost like taps. Even though they're landing, they're just taps. Going with that right jab, Buscemi. Buscemi dedicated this fight to Babe Didrick from Saharias. And the left hand. He was born and raised in Beaumont. There's a big memorial tour here, the late great athlete. And Buscemi started his boxing career as an amateur in the elementary school that Dave Zaharias attended as a child. So he has a sense of history, 30-year-old Buscemi. Left hand from the champion landed. Good left hook and hurt Buscemi too. Buscemi battles back and scores a combination and Arguello ties him up. I'd like to alert our local stations along the line. At the end of this round, we'll take a 30-second station break. Combination from Buscemi score. The big punch is missed, Tim. The, the, the right jab scored, but the big punch is missed. Buscemi trains himself, but he has his father... Jim Buscemi Sr. working in his corner as a cut man. The manager Hugh Benbo is in there as well. A 78-year-old boxing legend from Texas. Former fighter, manager, promoter. Made millions in oil and land and now back in the boxing business. Under a minute to go. Very fast pace fight. Very fast pace. Big what left hook by Aguayo. Big left hook. That one staggered Buscemi momentarily. Realizes it lays under him. Training, they told Arguello to go to the body first and then to the head, but so far, except for that right hand, it's been all head. Combination scores from the champion. Under 30 seconds to go in the third round. WBC Lightweight Championship fight will 
continue after this word from your local station. Sports Saturday, the American women with big victories in the downhill at Arosa, Switzerland today. Holly Flanders and Cindy Nelson of the U.S. finishing one and two. That is just terrific, and you'll be seeing them next week on CBS Sports Saturday when we'll be in Aspen, Colorado, cover the giant slalom women's event. This is round number four. Alexis Arguello and Bubba Buscemi, and Buscemi just missed with that left hand, but he did back up the champion Arguello. Tim, he hasn't hit uh, Alex with a solid left hand yet. Uh, for him to slow uh, Arguello down a little bit, he's going to have to nail him with a good solid left hand. He hasn't landed one yet. Some kind of a warning there from the referee, Mayron. I'm not sure what that meant. I'm not sure the fighter knew either. It looked to me like safe at first. Octavio Mayron from Mexico, the non-scoring referee. Arguello stalking his prey in his familiar fashion, slowly going forward, cutting off the ring. Buscemi seemingly much more aware of him, and he just raised him on the right hand. If that landed twice, this would have been all over. Buscemi, but no damage done, despite the roar of the crowd. He still hasn't landed a good, solid, straight left hand, as we saw him doing training so often. He's a little tight. Again, we'd like to alert our local stations along the line. At the end of this round, we'll take another 30-second station break. Again, Buscemi missing the station. 29-year-old Alexis Arquail, he'll be 30 in April. Buscemi will be 30 tomorrow. Right hand just grazed the cheekbone of Buscemi. That left hand falls short every time. Under a minute to go. Short of the left that time. That was probably his best left hand to the fight then. the man continually keeps coming at you though even after you land a couple coming out like an express train continues after this word upcoming from your local station. This is round number five from Beaumont, Texas. Tim Ryan and Gil Clancy for the WBC Lightweight Championship. Hugh Benbow is a gray-haired man still in the corner there. The manager, Bubba Buscemi, giving him some instructions as he is continuing his challenge here against Alexis Arguello on the left of your screen. We scored the last round for Buscemi, a close round, but we went his way with it. The champion continues to exert control just by his position in the ring, continually cutting off Buscemi, and there's a little less movement from Buscemi than we expected, Gil. Well, Tim, we said he had the fast hands and he was a southpaw, but he likes to punch himself, so he's always looking to punch. He's not looking too much to get, get, to get out of the way there. There he comes again. I'm surprised that Alexis doesn't stand there, block a punch, and count it. But when, when, the, when Buscemi attacks him, he backs up. Buscemi scored with the left in that last exchange. Figuring Buscemi out every time he gets set to the punch, Buscemi beats him to the punch and gets out of there the way he should. He just did it again. Aguayo just missed with a big overhand right bomb. And the left hook. Crowd roaring with every punch. There's a big right hand by Arguello. Knocked Buscemi into the rope. 
gets it. He fights back, Tim. Yes, he does. Shami's lost only three times. Starting to breathe a little heavy now, though, Tim. But Shami's breathing for the mouth. That's a sign that he's getting tired. Under a minute to go, round five. Shemi caping along the ropes. This is a hard fight to score, uh, Tim. Shemi's landing a lot of taps on like Wade is landing a solid punches. He just landed a straight right hand, the champion did. Coming to the end of this fifth round with a left hook landed by the champion again. Round six from Beaumont, Texas. Tim Ryan and Gil Clancy, the challenger, Bubba Buscemi, with a slight swelling under his right eye that received attention between rounds. The champion on the right of your screen, Alexis Arguello, defending his lightweight title for the third time. He has been the featherweight, super featherweight, and lightweight champion. Good right hand from the challenger, Buscemi, and a combination back. And another left hook and a right hand with Arguello. Buscemi battling back but ineffectively over there. Next combination was landed by the champion. Those are the damaging blows. Credit to Buscemi. He does punch back after he gets hit. Well, we mentioned his mouth was open, Tim. He's starting to get a little tired. Arguello is really putting pressure on him. Buscemi short again with his punches. Now Arguello going to the body. It's amazing that Buscemi has missed so many of those straight left hands because he sets Arguello up and then when he throws it, he misses it. And Arguello is right there. You don't have to look for him. Right. Left hook to the body, left hook up top by Arguello. But Buscemi has proved he can take a punch to him because he's got hit with some good solid shots this round. Under a minute to go. Left hook, dagger, Goshemi. He's hurt. A short left hook. Dagger, Goshemi. And another left hand That's land. Dagger again. That buckle is me. Arguello sensing the opportunity to put him away. Another left hook. And a right hand, Goshemi won't go down. Arguello all over him. Goshemi desperately trying to stay on his feet. The referee has stopped the fight. Arguello has won by the referee stopping this fight without Buscemi going to the canvas, but he is out on his feet here in round number six. A short left hook was the beginning of the end for the courageous challenge of Bubba Buscemi, and then a relentless barrage of blows battered him about the ring, but he refused to go down. And so he did not get to the canvas, but he is a knockout victim by the champion Alexis Arguello, who has successfully defended his championship for the third time. Let's take a look at that sequence. Those left hooks did the job, Tim. That first left hook put him on queer street. He didn't know where he was after that. It was just the fact that he had that fighting heart and he knew enough to throw punches back when he was hurt. He didn't know where he was at all. But look at him still trying to throw punches. Out on his feet and still trying to throw punches. Alexis Arguello 
knowing that the fight is over, must be very surprised that this young man has not gone down. He's still on his feet when the referee, Mehron, jumps in and says, that is enough. And so this fantastically talented champion, Alexis Arguello, despite taking some punishment, totally in command, almost from the opening bell, in his relentless pursuit of the challenger, Buscemi, the same kind of attack that he presents to anybody in the ring against him. He's always there in front of you, cutting off the ring, and just exerting a will over his opponent. This is the end of the sequence with Arguello knowing he has his man, but unable to get him to the canvas. Buscemi taking a lot of punishment here from all angles from Arguello. But a courageous try by Buscemi, still trying to battle back. Referee Mehran, the Mexican, looking on and about ready to stop at a big right hand, and I believe that was the one he said, that's enough. Yes, it is. So Alexis Arguello, now with Buscemi, in the middle of the ring, congratulating his courageous try, and he has defended his crown for the third time. We'll be returning to Beaumont, Texas here. Say it again, please. All right, uh, back here in Beaumont, Thank Texas, you. we'll try and get the champion over, Alexis Arguello. Here he is, Alexis. Uh, again, another outstanding display of your boxing ability. Even uh, when a, an opponent seems to be doing well against you, you never show. You always show that you were in command. Did you feel in control of this fight right from the beginning? Well, I, in the first round, I will. I have to. Uh, see how Baba's fighting, but uh, this he was a uh, performance that the two three round for the top three first round was great. He was boxing beautifully, but then in the second round I knew it the way he fight, and um, then I start paying attention to my corners, and everything was thank God good. Uh, and I hope you enjoy to see them in this program in CBS. I think the boxing fans always enjoy watching you work because you're just one of the best ever. You landed a good left hook that started the knockout. Uh, it was a solid short punch. Do you remember it? Let's look at it again, right here. Maybe you can tell us what happened. It was a left hook to the, to the jaws. And then the, that's the, they have to be a fighter. To, have the, the, to see the chance, you have to use your hands to uh, to you you know to you uh, use the situation you know and you have to be like a hawk one one time by say like a hawk to see the uh, special moment to attack were you surprised that he didn't go down well I'm surprised because I hit him with with everything I really is strong and I think his strongest come from his people he have his people and uh, I do I do the same if I am in my hometown with this kind of uh, crowd, I don't let it get down, never. He was determined to stay on his feet for his right. fans. That was uh, the way he wanted to do it, but uh, you know, I have to make my performance really well to use my advantage. What do you want to do next? Do you want to unify the two titles and be the only lightweight champion in the world? Well, I don't know, that's, uh, my, that's the opinion I think my manager can ask, ask answer because He's the manager, I'm only the boxer to pay attention, to do what he says. And well, you do what's right in the ring, that's for sure. Congratulations, Alexis. Thank you, team, and uh, uh, thank you, CBS, to make me fight so often. Really, thank you. All right, Alexis Arguello, our WBC champion. Can we get Bubba Buscemi over here? Let's bring in the challenger. Courageous performance today by Bubba. Bubba, you did a great job. I think your fans here still love you from what we gather. Uh, you were determined to stay on your feet, weren't you? Yes, I was, Tim. I'm not the kind that's going to quit, you know. And I wanted to, you know, I wanted to stay in here because I thought the fight wasn't that, you know, I didn't think he was that far ahead of me up until then. But he caught me with some good shots, and Alexis is a great champion. Thank there you. weren't any surprises for you in there then, huh? No, well, I think he was a little faster than I thought he was going to be. But, uh, you know, he, like I say, he's a great champion. All right, Bubba, great job. We appreciate your uh, great performance here this afternoon. The Texas champion, the challenger against one of the all-time world champion greats, Alexis Arguello. World Light Heavyweight Championship fight. The champion, Michael Spinks, defending against Mustafa Wazadja from Denmark. Wazadja with a record of 24-1, seven knockouts. 
He is top ranked by the WBA among the challengers. He is living in Denmark in Aalborg. He was born in Uganda near Kampala. Now the champion. Michael Spinks with a record of 18 wins and no losses, 12 KOs being introduced right now. He won the championship from Eddie Mustafa Mohammed in July of last year. He defended it successfully against Vonzel Johnson here in Atlantic City. This is his second defense. And he has become Michael Spinks Incorporated. The officials for the fight. Tony Perez is the referee. He does not have a ballot. The judges are Humberto Figueroa of Panama, Cesar Ramos of Puerto Rico, Waldemar Schmidt of Puerto Rico. The